first port of call, Nassau, Bahamas. Welcome back to the channel. We're Jamie and Skylar. And in this third episode of our Serenade of the Seas cruise series, we're gonna show you our first port day experience in Nassau, Bahamas. While it seemed like we were one of few who actually left the ship to explore Nassau, we were so glad we did. So stick around to see what was and wasn't open and what the overall experience was like in Nassau in November, 2021. We woke up as the ship was porting around 7 a.m. and were greeted with views of Atlantis and the rising sun. While we were initially just the second ship to port, we soon found the Disney magic joining us. I have to say that that ship looks way more empty than our ship even. There's hardly anybody out on balconies. After a stop through the Windjammer Cafe for a quick, delicious breakfast, we ventured to the rear of the ship to scope out Nassau from above. And after receiving the go-ahead to disembark, we quickly made our way down to floor two, off of the ship, and south down the pier where we'd begin exploring the city. Once on land, you can find a variety of shopping and dining options just to the south and west of the port. So our tour of NASA is starting off good. They have a brewery, but it's not open yet. With brewery plans set for later in the day, we made our way west down Woods Rogers Walk towards Senior Frogs, which was closed. But with this view as a consolation prize, it was hard to be too disappointed. After taking in some amazing views, we'd suggest making your way west to Bay Street and the Tiki Bikini Hut. But if you're like us, you may find yourself making a couple of detours along the way. And one of those detours for us was the Margaritaville Beach Resort. While many of the shops on the property were closed at the time of our visit, the brand new hotel was open for business. Just north of the hotel property, visitors can find a dock that juts out into the sea. And we found that the gazebo at the end of the dock provides a great spot to take in the views of the turquoise waters and the ported cruise ships just to the east. So we are out and about exploring in Nassau, just taking in this gorgeous water. Yeah, we have pretty water where we live in Florida, but definitely do not see this shade of blue. No, we don't. But I think we're leaving this area because today we are on a mission to find some cheap drinks. Yeah, we do not have the drink package on the ship, which means to get a good drink, we have to pay around $13, which is pretty expensive. So we're excited to find some reasonably priced drinks here in NASA and hopefully a good painkiller. Our search for reasonably priced tropical drinks led us west down Junkanoo Beach. And after just a short walk down the beautiful beach, you'll find a popular local tiki bar known as the Tiki Bikini Hut. And while we didn't order any tropical drinks here, we did find a laid back yet energetic atmosphere, plus a selection of delicious bohemian beers at a reasonable price. Visitors will find the beach out front of the Tiki Bar to be a great spot to relax and swim. And while we stayed just long enough for a quick dip in the water, it was tempting to rent some chairs and stay for the day. But with more beach to be explored and drinks to be had, we were off to our next spot. Just a few more steps down Junkanoo Beach, you'll find our next stop located within a group of several beachfront food huts. And if the sight of these bright colored kiosks isn't enough to lure you in, the smell of the bohemian cooking will be. The kiosk that lured us in was Crabbentings, and while their food looked and smelled amazing, 
It was the strongest drink on the beach that Skylar couldn't pass up. All right, Skylar, tell us about the drink you just had to get. Well, it's not cheap, but it is advertised as the strongest drink on the beach, and it's called a bitch slap. And who can pass up a bitch slap on the beach? Yeah, it's strong. <laughs> it's good though, it's smooth. Do you feel like you got bitch slapped or what? It's a strong drink. <laughs> After enjoying the strongest drink on the beach, you might be tempted to order another. But if you're like us and still have beer and dinner plans, plus a ship to catch, you should probably start making your way back towards the port. Thankfully, the walk back down the beach is a beautiful one, and we couldn't resist walking out on another pier to catch one last view of Junkanoo Beach. If you're enjoying this video so far and want to help us out, make sure to click the thumbs up and leave us a comment. Our walk back towards downtown felt a little bit strange, as even with three cruise ships still in port, the streets were nearly empty. I know, right? Where is everybody? And while Nassau was feeling a bit like a ghost town, we were still determined to make the most of our last two hours in port. This took us back to the Pirate Republic Brewing Company, the first and only production craft brewery in the Bahamas. With a variety of craft brews on tap and sampler flights available, beer lovers will soon realize they found their place in Nassau. Eager to sample a variety of Bohemian beers, we ordered the five beer flight option. And while the cold beers did hit the spot, we loved that from our seats on the balcony, we could make sure our ship wasn't leaving without us. And after doing quick work on our flight, we still had enough time for one last stop before returning to the ship. While at this point we really needed some food, it was the Bahama Mama special that lured us into the bearded clam. And at just $4.50 apiece for these delicious cocktails, our mission to find cheap tropical drinks was a success. Fortunately for us, the Bearded Clam also offers a variety of bohemian food, such as this fried conch burger. And while this certainly was not your traditional burger, it was absolutely amazing and just what we needed after a day of delicious drinks. After a delightful day exploring Nassau, it was finally time to return to the ship. And after quick stops by our stateroom and the coffee shop, we were off to the 12th deck to catch the sunset sail away. We're about to leave port here in Nassau. We are the last ship to leave today. But the caffeine proved to be no match for a day of drinks and exploring in Nassau, as Skylar was soon fast asleep on a lounge chair. Fortunately, he woke up just in time for sail away, and we were both able to enjoy a beautiful sunset over Nassau. We did not find a painkiller, but we did find some really good local beers, the strongest drink on the beach, and an amazing conch burger. Yeah, that conch burger was really good. And we did make it back on the ship for an amazing sunset. Want to see more of our Serenade of the Seas cruise experience? Then be sure to subscribe for notifications on future videos, or just click on this video now. Thanks for watching.